directly follows models represent which activities can be executed directly after each activity. This type of graphs is typically found in commercial tools and they are often used by industry as they are easy to understand for stakeholders. We present a novel approach for process mining that combines the simplicity of directly follows models with the advanced capabilities provided by more complex academic approaches. For instance, this approach guarantees soundness and offers conformance checking. This approach has been implemented as a plugin of the PROM framework called Directly Follows Visual Miner. We will illustrate the capabilities of this tool on a publicly available log that was recorded from a loan application process at a financial institution in the Netherlands. When running the plugin with an event log as input, a Directly Follows model will automatically be mined using the default settings of 100% of the activities and 80% of the parts. The green circle on the left of the screen is the start of the process and the red circle on the right is the end of the process. The model shows which activities will occur in the process and the arrows between these activities show which activities can directly follow each activity. The model also shows numbers on activities and paths that indicate how often the represented behavior occurred in the event log. By moving the path slider, one can filter out less frequent behavior. Setting the slider to 0% shows an empty model. Pushing the slider to the top, more and more behavior is added until the slider is at 100%, which means that all behavior present in the log will be shown in the model. Exceptional or at least infrequent behavior can then be analyzed during conformance checking. This can be useful in a number of scenarios. However, commercial tools do not support conformance checking using directly follows models. By showing paths and deviations, we can see log and model moves as dotted red lines in the directly follows model. Further details of how log and model disagree can be shown by hovering the mouse over the dotted red line in question. For example, we can see that O send back is skipped 184 times in the log when it should have been executed according to the model. Conversely, it is executed 196 times between O sent and O selected when the model says it should not have been executed. Conformance checking on existing directly follows models is also supported by running the plugin Visualize Deviations on Directly Follows Model. Another use case of the Directly Follows Visual Miner is performance analysis. The Visual Miner computes multiple performance metrics for each activity. When hovering the mouse over an activity, a list of descriptive statistics for this activity is shown in the bottom right of the screen. You can see a histogram for the number of executions as well as minimum, average and maximum for several time-related metrics. In addition to the statistics pop-up, the directly follows visual miner can also show sojourn time and service time on the model by coloring activities and displaying the average time rather than frequencies of activities. This can be done by selecting show paths and sojourn times. Activities that take more time are then drawn in deep red, as can be seen for O cancelled and O sent back. Another way to analyze performance characteristics of traces is the use of animation. Observing the flow of tokens through the model can be used to analyze intertrace effects such as batch processing of traces or accumulation of tokens at one point in the model due to a bottleneck. In addition, 
One can use the trace coloring feature to color each token according to an attribute of the trace it represents. It can then be observed whether slow traces colored bright green to yellow flow along different paths than fast traces colored dark blue to green. To dive deeper into parts of the event log, we now show some of the filtering options of the directly follows visual minor. First of all, let's look at a simple compliance question, whether traces can be both accepted and declined. In the tool, we can click on an activity to filter the traces of the log. Only the traces that flow through that activity remain. So, if we click on O declined, now all measures, frequencies and the animations are updated to show only the traces that executed the O decline activity at this point in the model. Now we can observe that there are no traces that are both accepted and declined. Next, one might wonder whether declined traces take longer than accepted traces. As our model is still filtered, we can put the mouse pointer on O declined and see that the average elapsed time of traces that were declined is 15 days and 11 hours. Now we click on O accepted and filter to show only the accepted traces. For the accepted traces, the average elapsed time is 16 days, which is slightly longer than the declined traces. However, there are also traces accepted in about 3 minutes, which might be something to look into further. Let's study these traces in more detail by applying additional filters. We leave the filter on the activity O accepted enabled and open the highlighting filters. These highlighting filters allow to filter the log based on any attribute that was recorded, on events or traces, as well as a few predefined properties. In this case, we need a trace filter in particular the duration. If we reduce the maximum duration to 4 hours, we see in the background that the frequencies are updated to include only traces that last at most 4 hours. We see that 21 traces are accepted within 4 hours and that these traces all follow the same path through the model. Finally, if we want to study a trace in more detail, we open the trace view to see which traces are accepted and take less than 4 hours. For instance, the first trace was rushed through in a couple of minutes between 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock at night. Using the trace ID, stakeholders can go back to their information systems to investigate further. In this video, we have shown you the directly follows Visual Miner. This miner takes an event log and lets users explore this log. First, it discovers a directly follows model while providing several guarantees. Second, it allows users to evaluate this model using conformance checking. Third, it shows performance measures and animates the traces in the event log over the discovered model. Finally, users can use filters to drill down into several parts of the event log to gain more insights. The directly follows Visual Miner is open source, is part of the PROM framework, and is available for download at these addresses.